and she comes to the fucking kitchen and talks to to Larry, Harry, whatever the his Larry Holly Larry, yeah, Larry is his name, the designer. And she said, Larry said, not treasure, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody liked me. Everybody's like, not treasure, you know. She that's that's your sis, you know what I'm saying? She been around. She's sucking that vape. <laughs> Bye, bitch. She's gone. When I saw her face, like, through that, I was like, oh, wow. I was like, bet. I was like, that was real. I was like, that was pretty real, Angela. I was like, I don't think that was fake. And I even, I was like, let me give her two days. I'm going to give her two days. And I was like, I'm, this bitch, she done pissed me off. She done pissed me the fuck off. But um, as soon as I said she had pissed me off, I was riding in the car. That's when that live, when I was on my way to the Black Ink, uh, the live that came out, me all upset and everything because she wouldn't answer the phone. And the trailer had released two days later. And I said, did this bitch, <laughs> I said, she did not release this. I said she did not release this. And I knew she released it because certain shit was cut out. The fucked up fuck, because she said something way more fucked up that ain't even making it to the fucking thing. But even when she said it, everybody else was looking at her like, um, all right, Johnny, cut it, Johnny. Like, you, you kind of hit the line. And that was when... I was completely done. And I'm not even going to repeat what it was, but she know what she said. The cat, everybody who was there, they know what she said. And it was really, it was, it was really fucked up. Not even her calling me a bum. That was not the fuck, the most fucked up part. That was not, that ain't even cut the cake. That shit just lit the candle. But she, the shit, she said some hurtful shit that cut the cake, baby. And I just, when I knew that, when I saw that that wasn't on the show, I said, okay, she knew she was fucked up. She knew she was fucked up for even saying that. And then I even was like, you know, I know she was lit. You know what I'm saying? I know she drunk. She was drunk as hell or, or high, whatever the fuck she was at that time. And I knew she was. I was like, you know what? We'll fix this. We'll fix this. I love this girl. We'll fix this, you know. I know she got issues. That's still my spider pig. She got issues, and I don't care. It's okay. She got issues. You know, like I said, everybody, you know, it's one in every family. It doesn't make you love, love them less. You know, you, you, when you family, you family. And that's how I genuinely looked at her, like she was family. So it wasn't nothing. It was The love became unconditional. It wasn't a cutoff point. But because she put a, a cutoff on us and she made me expendable, the friendship ring and the martyrs, they do not work anymore. People was like, okay, well, how can you sit and talk about her now because y'all not friends? No, apparently we wasn't never friends. Right? According to everybody on the internet, she was never my friend. She never liked me. She never, she didn't want me to win. She didn't respect me. She didn't this. She didn't that. And so if she didn't respect me, she didn't love me, she didn't, none of that stuff, why do I have to, why after I've been the loyal friend, why do I have to continue to be loyal to someone who never was loyal to me? What? What, you know, you know what, 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 when I was growing up, that would say, you know, they would say, do I have Sam Sausage written on the front of my forehead? You see, do it say Sam Sausage on there? Nah, I'm not no Sam Sausage head. So, <laughs> that's just what it is. But, um, whew, pushing 53 minutes. But, um, I appreciate you all for my YouTube family. I actually really, really calm myself down. Um, I genuinely do appreciate y'all. Um, this is just, this is just crazy. Um, I personally do hope that she does get some help and, um, I hope that she does actually stop trying to attack me. Uh, let's see. Thank you all. 
I know, right? That wasn't the worst. She said something way worse than that, and it wasn't good. Um, what's actually crazy is, is um, I had asked her to make sure that it wasn't aired. It wasn't a part of the trailer, but the episode wasn't coming out for, I think, you know, like four, four or five weeks after we had, after the trailer had initially had, um, had dropped. So I had texted her and I said, please make sure when you said in this part, please make sure that's not in your show, Angela. And she replied back, okay. And that was the last time she replied to me. So I thought, you know, we was going to be okay after that. But then um, I saw another promo and the promo was like, what? This is not what we kind of like agreed on, Angela. You know what I mean? Um, I think you kind of maybe, you know, doing some pretty shady shit, but <sighs> it's just, it is what it is. It's Monday. Um, I have some orders to pack up. So everyone who has been shopping the Treasure Gems Treasure Box for Women's History Month, it is going to be available for another cool what about 80 something i mean well shoot not 80 something but 72 hour sale and it started yesterday so it ends tomorrow yes but i appreciate you all um most definitely yes i love gemini's my spouse is a gem 